from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Cooler temps are making their way to the Bay Area. Jason will let you know just how long they plan to last. Hey there, I'm Vanessa Ariza. Let's get you caught up with your ABC Action News headlines first. Right now, investigators are still trying to find out the cause of a house fire that left one person dead in Spring Hill. That fire started just after noon yesterday at a home on Normandy Street. Both a person and a dog were found unconscious. Pasco Fire Rescue tried to save both, but only the dog survived. Thankfully, we had several crews doing level three training, which is in-person training at our training center, which is just down the road. So there was a very quick response to the scene. Authorities have yet to identify the person who died, but tell us they were the only one who lived there. We'll update you as soon as we get more information. The Senate committee looking at Florida's response to the pandemic will meet with the company behind the state's troubled unemployment system this week. Tomorrow, representatives from Deloitte Consulting will speak with 10 Florida senators. The company came under fire for an unemployment system that could not handle the influx of people out of work during the pandemic. Nearly a year later, many are still reporting issues getting their unemployment benefits. And remember, we have resources to help on abcactionnews.com. Just click on our Rebound Tampa Bay section. There you will find links to send us your information and let us know what problem you are having with those benefits so we can try to get you answers and help. Well, this is pretty cool. Yesterday's Black History Brain Bowl was done virtually in Hillsborough County. 49 schools in all competed. Robinson High and Leonard, Leonard High were the top two schools sharing the title of co-champs. Their students didn't miss a single question. Now let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. Much better forecast today, that is for sure, as we see all sunshine this afternoon. A little breezy at times. We'll see winds gusting as high as 20 to 25 miles per hour, sustained 10 to 15 miles per hour. But with the sunshine back, we'll see temperatures here to the upper 60s and lower 70s. So if you did not make it out to the Strawberry Festival yesterday because of the rain in the forecast, you definitely can get out there and enjoy it today. Aside from a little bit of a breeze, it looks fantastic. We'll stay cool through Monday and even Tuesday morning. But it looks like Tuesday afternoon throughout the rest of next week, we've got a big warm up on the way with 80s returning by Wednesday. Vanessa. All right. Thank you, Jason. Remember, ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Just make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there. Enjoy the view. Enjoy your Sunday.